The man was cleaning the sewer of the pool that had been closed for a long time, but it was blocked by something strange, and he kept pushing his hand into it, and the man's palm was cut with a long wound. At the same time, a large amount of black water gushed out of the sewer and emitted a disgusting smell. They immediately called an expert to investigate, but it turned out that there was a well next to the pool and Paul had accidentally connected it to the groundwater when he cleaned it. The expert said that if they sterilized the water, they could use it without worrying about the effects of the water on their skin. The Paul family was overjoyed, not realizing that the villa they had just bought had a natural swimming pool. A week later, the pool was officially in use, but bad things began to happen. Anna had just finished work and was taking a night swim when the family civet cat ran up to them, meowing in panic. Anna didn't take it seriously and continued to use her fastest freestyle to release her stress, but when she turned around to change her breath, she saw Paul suddenly appeared on the shore and scared her so much that she peed in the pool. What scared her even more was that Paul wasn't even on the shore. She began to look around for Paul but just then the lights at the bottom of the pool began to flicker and Anna swam to shore. She didn't expect the lights to return to normal as soon as she left the pool. She rushed home and asked Paul if he'd been in the pool. He said he'd been sleeping. Anna was horrified. She asked Paul to dry the pool and check the lights. Just after they went to sleep, the pool lights flickered again. The civet cat ran onto the diving board and a toy boat floated out of the pool and sailed on its own. The civet took a fighting stance and let out a low growl. Early the next morning Mark found the cat's collar and the family started looking for the cat. Just as Paul picked up the collar, he realized that his wounds had disappeared as if nothing had happened. Paul began to suspect that the pool had magical powers. At night, Anna woke up from a nightmare and realized that Paul was in the pool in the middle of the night instead of sleeping. Soon after, Paul came to the hospital for a follow-up checkup, and the results were incredible. The hospital said they had never seen anyone recover so quickly in such a short time. It turns out that Paul is a professional baseball player because of injuries, so he bought a villa to recuperate and thus encountered this miraculous pool. After the test report came out, Paul was completely obsessed with the pool. That day, Mark was diving in the pool when he accidentally heard a girl's voice greeted him. After surfacing, he followed the voice to the spout where she said she needed his help and that she was looking for her mom and that her name was Rebecca. The girl said she had found one of Mark's toys. So Mark reached in, and just as he pulled it out, a hand grabbed it.